Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of A Bole. It is 8 o'clock p.m. in game. I'm not sure. Regardless, thank you so much for all the love on the previous episodes. You guys have been amazing. Let's keep it up on this one. Is it 8 a.m. or p.m.? I don't know. But we have, if you, if you would uh, pay attention now, we do have a mission available at the high school, it looks like. So... I'm going to try to get back this way. We shall see if that happens. I think we can. I think we can make this work. Let's see here. Yeah, we are traveling onto the middle island now, and then we just gotta head back north, which. Wait, hold up. Isn't there a tunnel somewhere? Bruh, I am so confused. Um, I'm gonna try my best, guys, to um, not turn on my little space heater. There it is. It's been pretty cold in my office today, but I, I think I can. I think I can. No! I think I can struggle through it. You know what I'm saying? I think we can do it here, boys and gals, because it is a little bit noisy, a wee bit loud. And we should be getting real close, man, real, real close. We'll find out whenever we see. I think we're like, uh, we've already done finding Johnny Vincent and the gym is burning. Rats in the library, make it a mark. Yeah, so uh, we're almost halfway through the Chapter 5 storyline uh, mission, so. I'm kind of like, I always get anxious towards the end of a game. But I'm also going to be sad, because this has been good, good times. Uh, it is, okay. Okay. Right there on the front steps. Should be just the front door, and the mission's probably inside, I'm guessing. Maybe. Up and. Oh, that's a hard one, man. That's what she said. Alright, let's buy a soda. We're not quite full. Anytime I get a mm. an excuse to drink a sugary soda, I mean, I'm gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? It's a no brainer, peoples. Also, uh, I mentioned my podcast a couple times on this Let's Play. I don't want to thank everybody that uh, went over and checked that out. I definitely noticed a, a little boost in the numbers. I appreciate these guys clicking them links in the description. Go to see the principal. Go see the principal. Yep, this is main story. Here we go. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? Wrecked. I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that wow. fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very Too drunk. Far, a comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm uh -oh. not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith. Look, I may have painted a few Don't jokes on the town it, hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man. Damn it, blind. Gary. And you are leaving. 
I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform oh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Racked. Oh my, we just got expelled. We just got expelled. Bruh. Now what? I say we burn the building down, personally. Is that excessive? You have been expelled. Wow, all right, well, I mean, that's the almost the worst thing you could do. Like, would, a, would an academy actually do that? Like, you can't get a hold of their parents because they're still on a cruise, so w would you even tell the kid? I wouldn't, because then they have nothing to lose. Busting in, part one, main story mission, here we go. You know what I mean? Like, once you tell a kid that, their parents aren't hey, around Jimmy, to take them actually physically out Terrible. of the school, Everybody hates they got nothing to lose. Everybody might hate you. Literally gonna burn the place down. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! <clears throat> I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor Shouldn't setback? Be, Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell Clifford. We'll be at his house at Old Bulworth Vale. Or not. This is how they educate people. It's no wonder this country is such a All right. Uh let me let me let me let me let me figure out where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, we gonna need we gonna need the scooter for this one, boys. Excuse me. Dress code, get out of here, who cares? <laughs> Give me that scooter, bitch. Give me that scooter, bitch. No helmet. Uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a ways to go. Shiny bags. Step right up. That's awkward. Who wants a sh shiny bike? Right up. Well, enough. It wasn't worth anything, but I did it. Well, I got some firecrackers out of it. So I guess it could be alright. There we go. That looks better. Excuse me, sir. Alright, man. Let's check it out, Eat. Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. He's so big. Oh, I brought my own scooter, Russ, but I appreciate it. I appreciate the red loner. Is that too much to ask for? Like a 15 year old boy with a motorcycle? Nothing could go wrong, dude. On the reels, I'm actually not a fan of motorcycles at all. Any friends and family that ever mentioned getting one, I'm like, stop. Don't. No. 
just don't like them. My kids got excited. They're talking about motorcycles a couple times, and I was like, now. But I just kind of scarred by memory. Uh, not that I really knew the person or anything, but there was a, a teacher's aide that used to come to the elementary. He was a senior, and he would uh, come over and, you know, help teach the kids. Like, be a teacher's aide, if you don't know what that is. Um, and he was on the way to the elementary one time on his motorcycle, and a car pulled out in front of him, and he hit the car, and he died. And uh, I remember we had, like, a 4-H meeting, I think, at the school that night. And so my mom and I drove up on it. Uh, we didn't see anything or whatever, but we were just in this long, backed-up line of traffic. And come to find out, that was why. And we live in a very small community, so something like that was just something that I'll never forget. And I'm just not a fan of motorcycles, man. They just get people hurt. They're not, they're not worth it. Not much protection on one, obviously. So just not a fan. Whoa, buddy. Damn, they're locked. Oh, oh God. And, and and we never saw him again. They were picking up pieces. Oh, we're already on oh, busting in part two. Hurt. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Uh oh, this doesn't look so good. There's no cop in that vehicle. It's just an empty vehicle. Hey, it's my girlfriend. What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I'm gonna yes. talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyway. The power the power plant generators are overloaded. Restore the generator switches to restore the power. Rangy. There's only two. Oh, but we got nerds. Can we find this stuff? Oh, that would have been too convenient, huh? Crouch. Why can't I crouch? What? Bruh. Oh, damn, they're on that side, too. I figured I'd do this one first. Let's get the old spud gun out. Good, 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 got him. Give me that soda. Should have never messed with me, man. All right, hitting buttons. That's what I do the best. I hit buttons. I tell you what, fella. Yes, you're completely prone. Get up. God, I love the spot gun. So much fun. Go to the Red Star Building. You gotta go through the Red Star Building. Yes, ma'am. This gate is controlled by an electronic security switch. I think it's in the office. I think it's in the office, eh? Alrighty then. How many goons we gotta go through? Oh. Huh. We got Kansas spot. Oh, it shoots Kansas spuds. That makes more sense. Save my spuds for the final fight. It could be right here. Did you get to open it for we me, man? The train yards. Find a way around. Uh oh. Rot row. Puzzle. It's a puzzly puzzle. I got it. Yeah. 
yes, there we go. Now we get in. Alright. 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 They're so hard to hit. trying to conserve my spuds. Will you guys please let one of these... Let's free aim it next time, eh? Great. I'll use them all to hit them with the fourth to last. It's whatever. Alright, what do we got here? We got to just open it. Okay. That, you know... Not very nice. Not very nice at all. Got him. You some beach. <sighs> Gotta use them long range attacks, boys. Okay, okay. More bottle rockets? Well, golly gee, I appreciate that. All right. All right, here we go with the switch. There you go, girlfriend. Just don't be mad at me. That's it. Finally hey, girl, hi. Shut up, you're so mean to me. You're always condescending and rude, and I hate it. Very steep ramp. I feel like this would kill your ankles. We don't like your kind around here. Why? So what we got for him? Get bottle rocketed. Racked. <sighs> Give me that cola. What are the tags up here? Greaser's Rock. Jumping. Well, this is uh, not ideal for a chase, I would say. Oh, my Atlanta. Tightrope this. Oh, my goodness. What we 
got this. Good job, Jimmy. There's a ladder over there. Deal if we fall here? I mean, come on. I don't want a fission mail, but that looks like 12, 15 feet. I think we can land it. running and getting pipes. Where'd he go? I to chase him again? This is gonna be fun. Is it Edgar? <laughs> Rip the pipes off the walls to use against Edgar. Good, 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 got him. You had enough? You want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Aw, oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we'd make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing two faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on. You're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. We well, did, like, actually kill Gary at the end, I hope. Just, like, gouge his eyes out with a, like, a MRE spork. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, Thanks, bud. Okay. See ya. Towny respect plus un hundo by Lanta. That's a good respect. Comes through. We need some health. Okay. Oh, the camera is so jackaroni. <laughs> A helipad? Dude, is there a helicopter in this game that you can fly? You know there's some bubble rands in here, man. What happened Block your card.
that dude. What is going on here? Why is there... Ew. A bunch of meat in there? secret to this place. Can't go up there, huh? <laughs> this is like a meat processing plant. Can't hit the big button? I did. Alright, well, let's uh, go give her a save first of all since it's a pretty big mission. Close. If I can figure out how the hell to get out of here. Real close, actually. Walk oh, down the street, eh? Booyah. Be -be 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 stock up all my stuffs and things. Anything else to stock up on in here? I don't think so. Give her a little savorino. And was that was that showdown at the plant that I just con that I just figured? Uh, oh, I think it might be. So here's what's gonna happen, ladies and gents. Is there a soda machine in here? Nah, fam. Um, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut this episode because I thought we were like almost halfway through, but busting in, we just did busting in. Well, we went to the principal and that was just getting, uh, that was just getting uh, expelled, I can think of the word. <laughs> and then we did busting in part one and two and I, I'm guessing that was showdown at the plant there at the end too. So that was four, which leaves us only two main storyline missions left if I'm it, if I'm right about Showdown at the Plant. If we didn't do Showdown at the Plant, that's still only three. Um, so 27 minutes into the into the episode, I don't want to uh, start, you know, if there's only two, even three left. So we're going to go ahead and cut it short here is what I'm getting at. Thank you guys so much again for all the love. I hope you guys uh, showed this video some love if you did enjoy and uh, make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss future episodes of this and uh, future games that we will be playing through here on the channel. Uh, games that include... The games on my list are Destroy All Humans. Um, I'd like to do uh, The Warriors, um, the, uh, the, 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 the Scarface game, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts campaigns. Uh, Cold War campaign, obviously, which is uh, coming out here in just a couple weeks. So, got a lot on the plate, guys. A lot of fun Let's Plays if you guys are into this stuff. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. -bye.